Deflection correction. Deflection is when the pipe moves while you're pressing the fitting. This occurs because there's a tolerance between the pipe and the fitting. We're gonna demo it on Mega Press because it happens more because there's more of a tolerance. Now remember, wherever your tool opens, that jaw or the ring, the fitting wants to escape and the pipe's gonna go in the exact opposite direction every single time, as seen here. So you can see when I press that fitting, the pipe actually pulled towards me. Now that I know that's gonna happen, let's show you the techniques for how to correct it. The first method is to press on alternate sides. That means moving the tool back and forth down the line. So I press my first fitting right on this side. And then the next hub on that fitting, I'll take the tool and put it on the opposite side. That means as we move down the line, the pipe's gonna deflect and correct, deflect and correct. The next method would be pressing the top or the bottom. In this method, we're actually gonna use the hangers to back us up. Because remember, that pipe wants to pull towards the jaw and away from the opening. So if we're doing that, we have the hanger as a backup and the pipe can't lift up out of it either. So the first press would be right here on the bottom. And the next press, right here on the top. Remember with this method, it doesn't have to all be on the top or the bottom. You can go back and forth or do them all exactly the same because you're not gonna have any side to side movement. Remember when we're working with deflection, the fitting always wants to escape from the opening and the ring of the jaw. So when we're working with the ring, everything is the exact opposite. So if I took the ring and put it on this side of the pipe, that means the fitting wants to escape this way and that pipe's gonna pull this way when I press it. So remember with deflection, everything's gonna be the exact same, side to side, top and bottom, but the push-pull method, you're actually gonna be pushing on that ring instead of pulling on the jaw. The final method is the push-pull method. So remember, wherever the tool opens, the fitting wants to escape and the pipes go in the opposite direction. So imagine I'm up against the wall and clevis hangers. I can't do top-bottom, I can't do side-side, I'm gonna have to use the push-pull. I'm using a jaw, so that means I'm gonna open it, put it on the fitting, and I'm gonna pull that fitting towards myself before I press it, just like this. I'm gonna come to the next fitting and do the exact same thing. As we press those fittings, the tool pulls itself back into straight, leads it with a nice straight pipe.